Any proof that your vote matters? Take a look at the District 56 House race in Faulkner County. Election commissioners say the race was decided by just 10 votes. Andrew Epperson joining us now live in Little Rock with more on this. And Andrew, can we see a recount here? 10 votes, not a lot. Yeah, really not a lot, Bob. Now, that'd be up to the losing candidate to decide, and Republican Trent Menner says he has not made that determination just yet. But like you said, this shows that the phrase, every vote counts, is not a cliche. Steve McGee is an ophthalmologist in Conway, and he'll soon serve his sixth term as state representative. Most people by now know my cell phone number in this district, and if they don't, they can find it somewhere. You don't need 2020 vision to see how tight this race ended up being. It was real close, exhausting. <laughs> it was an exhausting process. Unofficial results show McGee wound up with 4,051 votes. His opponent, Republican Trent Minner, losing by just 10. A lot of people wanted to show up to see what was going to be the outcome after the provisionals were counted. Faulkner County Election Coordinator Laura Wiles says McGee only led by four votes after election night, but absentee and provisional ballots hadn't been counted yet. The election commission came in and went through each set of the provisional ballots and determined which ones could be accepted and which ones could not be accepted. In full view of the public, Cruz went through the last votes. It's always important to be a as transparent as you possibly can be, and we tried to do that yesterday. McGee coming out on top. We'll go back down there and start the work of the state again. In a statement, Minner says, in part, we have not yet made a decision on whether to request a recount. I have full faith in the integrity of our elections here in Arkansas and the competency of both the Faulkner County Clerk's Office and the Faulkner County Election Commission. We would proceed with the recount as quickly as possible, and we would go through and recount every ballot from that House District race. McGee says he's happy to no longer be on the campaign schedule and diet. Sonic's going to go broke because I'm not going to stop there every day and get a large Diet Coke and, <laughs> and mozzarella sticks. And the main feeling he has is relief. It's a testament to our democracy. Now, even though we don't know whether there will be a recount, the legislature is moving forward as if there will be. A House spokesperson telling us that an organizational meeting has now been postponed because of an expected recount in this. Something we'll be watching out for, Bob and Laura. Live in Little Rock, Andrew Epperson, back to you.